Hi, welcome to Shop Talk. My name is Dustin, and today we're going to continue on, on water heaters as far as Atwood water heaters. So an Atwood water heater, you're going to have a plastic drain plug at the bottom. These plugs are designed to blow off at a certain pressure and a certain temperature. So you do not want to replace these with a brass plug or, or metal fitting of any type. Sometimes customers will come in and they haven't identified which type of water heater they have and they're asking us for an anode rod because they've heard of it so much on a Suburban and they're purchasing an anode rod which is designed to eat the rod, not the tank. Well, on an Atwood tank, most of them are aluminum. So when guys come in and they purchase an anode rod that looks like this, they usually will go and attempt to install it if it fits in through the right size of the thread and after a little while, it'll look like this. So it's not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to put a type of anode rod inside the unit. We also have in stock the tools to go ahead and replace the drain plugs. This comes with two drain plugs, Teflon tape, and the tool to remove these plug fittings. So make sure when you go ahead and you're servicing your Atwood water heater that you also want to use a flush wand. When you drain the water heater tank, you want to go ahead and take this wand and insert it into the water heater and work it back and forth to get any calcium or lime or any buildup at the bottom of the water heater tank. Thanks so much for watching Shop Talk. Mm -hmm.